Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we are going to look at something different from what we usually do. Uh, we are going to look at some imaging post-processing. That is, how to post-process a microscopic image. Um, there are a lot of stuff that we can do, but today we are going to look at how we can set a scale bar on a microscopic image. Um, you can have a phase contrast image, you can have a semi-image, you can have a fluorescence image, it does not matter. The process, the technique, everything remains the same. So for this, we are going to use a free open source software, which is developed by NIH, uh, National Institute of Health, and the software is called ImageJ, and it runs on Java, that is why ImageJ. And you can get this software and download it over here on this um, URL and link it down in the description. And over here there are different versions and according to whatever you have, whether you have a Windows, Linux or Mac, you can download the uh, software and you know you can run the setup and you're good to go. Now once you run the setup, you're going to get a file which you need to open. And once you open that, once you open image J, it is going to look something like this. Yes, it does not have a GUI that is a graphical user interface, but it only has a toolbar, which is everything. Like you can do everything with this toolbar, whatever processing you need to do on your image, everything is available over here. Now the first thing that we need for setting up a scale bar is the measurement of the scale bar. Um, I have been struggling with this a lot from the first year of my PhD and finally I got a very easy method which I'm going to share with you right now. So for that you need a reference image. This is the reference image that I'm going to use and what I'm going to do I'm going to drag this and drop it onto image J, the toolbar and this is going to appear. And don't worry I'm going to, re I'm going to link this as well. Uh, in the description for you all to use. So this reference image, what are these numbers? So these are the objective magnification that, that are there uh, in your microscope. So right now I have only to 100x. If I find something else, more than 100x, I'm gonna link it down as well. But right now till 100x. So whatever objective magnification is there, according to that, there are some lines drawn on the left. So we're going to use these lines as our references and we're going to set up the scale bar. So the first step is to feed image J with the measurement of the, uh, of the line or the scale that we want in that particular um, objective magnification. So for that, the image that I'm going to be using is of 20x. So I'm going to feed image J with this measurement. So first, Let's take the line tool from here. So there are different shapes from here. You need to take the line tool. And beside 20x, you have this 50 micron line. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the pointer at the beginning of the 50 micron line. And we're going to draw a line till the end of the 50. And while doing so, we're going to hit shift. And we're going to keep the shift uh, pressed so that the line becomes straight and it's absolutely parallel to the 50 micron line. So at the end, we're going to release it and you have a straight line which spans the whole 50 micron. Now, this line that we had drawn, we have to tell image J that this is a 50 micron line. And please use this as a reference when we're putting the actual image. For that, you need to go to analyze and over here you have an option called set scale. So you need to hit that and this is going to appear. So over here, all you need to do is change the known distance to 50 because this is a 50 micron. And the unit of the length is micron or micrometer. So over here I'm going to press U and M. That signifies micrometer. And after this, don't forget to check the global because it is going to apply these settings to, the, to everything that you put in to image after this. And after this, I'm going to press OK. So now image is set for 
setting up the scale bar onto the image that we feed it in. Next, to check whether it is actually, it is actually, you know, the, the scale bar is actually set, the measurement is actually set for that. We are going to hit another line, we're going to draw another line on this vertical line that says 10 micron. So similarly, we're going to draw by holding shift this this line, which is parallel to the 10 micron. I don't know whether you can see the line because it's absolute yellow and it's merging with the white background. So this line is parallel to the 10 micron and we're going to check whether this is actually 10 micron or not. Even if it's near to 10 micron, it's okay. It does not have to be exact 10.000. It can be, you know, a little bit here and there 10, but it should not go like 15 or 20. So to check that, we're going to go to analyze again. And over here, we're going to set measurement or measure. Over here, there are a lot of things, but the one that we need is 11 point, uh, the length, which is near about 10, which is 11.321. We can take it or we can, you know, measure again once more. So again, we're going to draw a line till here which covers the vertical line. Go to analyze, measure, and now it's saying eight. We're going to measure a third time, just to be sure. And let's go again. Analyze, measure, it's 10.8. So it's near about 10, so we can take this. And, you know, although it was 11 and 8, but, you know, it's near about 10. So we can take this m measurement. So we know that it's, uh, it's, it's like not precise, but it's correct. So now this, the work of this image is done. So we're going to minimize this. And now we're going to open the image on which we want to set the scale bar. So for that, I have a fluorescent image. I took this from a fluorescent microscope. And once you drag and drop the image onto image J, uh, after you set the scale bar, this box is going to appear. Make sure to check this off because if you do not, this is not going to put the measurement that we've already given onto this image. So after this, you need to hit OK. And this is the image. These are basically differentiated muscle cells. These are myotubes from a mice primary culture. So uh, you can see the image, but you do not see any scale bar anywhere. So we're gonna set a scale bar over here. Now the image, uh, the software image is fed with the information about the measurement of the scale that we want in the magnification. And this image is in a 20X magnification. So a magnification matches. And remember, you cannot use a 20x magnification length on a 10x or any other uh, magnification. If you have a 10x, you need to draw the line on 10x. Or if you have a 4x, you need to draw the line on 4x. You cannot use one magnification length for the other. So after you open this image, go to Analyze once again. And next, go to Tools. Over here, you have a scale bar. And you can see immediately there is a small scale bar over here, uh, which says 75 micron. Over here, the width of the scale bar is 75 micron. That is why it is showing over here. Now, this we can change to whatever size we want. If we hit 100, it's going to be 100, and so on and so forth. Next, what you can do, you can change the color, you can change the change the position of the scale bar right now the location is lower right so it's over here you can change it to say upper right it's going to be over here and it's lower left it's going to be over here normally I like to keep it in lower right and you can hit both this is according to your preference what you want to uh, many many of my friends I've seen they hide the text and they write it in the caption of the image. 
but I like to keep it on the image so that you can get a clear view right by looking at the image. And after this, once you're done, you can press OK and your image would be set with the scale bar. After this, the most important thing, you need to save the image. So go to File, Save As. Now over here, there's a difference. If you save it in TIFF, which we normally tend to do when we're taking images of very high quality, normally we tend to save them in TIFF, but do not save them in TIFF right now because when you save them in TIFF, um, the scale bar won't appear. I'm gonna show you. If I hit TIFF and I'm gonna say over here, let's say TIFF. And if I open the image, this is the image that we just now saved. Once you open it, you can see the scale bar is not there. So what is recommended is that you save this in either JPEG or PNG. Normally I tend to save in PNG because that gives you a higher quality than JPEG. So you hit PNG, I'm gonna name this as PNG and I'm gonna save this. Now if you open, this is the image. Sorry, this is the image, it's still saving. Now if you open the image, you can see the scale bar at the bottom. So this is the difference. Do not save it in TIFF, save it in JPEG or PNG, preferentially PNG, so that you can get the scale bar. And that's about it. That's how you can use ImageJ to, you know, set a scale bar and put it onto an image that you have from a microscope. Does not matter whether it's the same, same image or TEM image or phase contrast or fluorescence. Whatever you have, you can put the scale bar if you, if you know the measurement and the magnification. So that's about it. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.